Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Soli. I'm a homemaker, a wife, a mother. It is too hot to turn this air conditioning off. I'm turning it back on. I thought it would be fun to take you along with me while I run some errands, a little vlog, so you can get a glimpse into a little bit more of my life and what it's like to be a homemaker, housewife. It is Saturday. We overslept on accident. We slept until like almost 11. Baby slept until after 11 because we went to bed late. Even though Carlos was asleep um, before us, he woke up the latest. I need to go to the Saturday morning market and um, that's where local people are, local farmers. And I'm gonna get some eggs there and maybe a couple other things. So I was doing all of my shopping, trying to do it once a month, and then I moved it to twice a week. And then once I discovered the farmer's market, I started doing it once a week so that I can get as much food as I can locally. But for whatever reason, during the summer, a lot of the farmers don't come to the market. I have only been able to get some meat and eggs at the market, and then I'm gonna do some more shopping, probably at Aldi um and i'll just take you along show you what i get you'll see and i hope you enjoy this little vlog this little kind of a day in the life i have my little baby buddy back here bye hi oh hi hello hi cutie fancy seeing you here okay y'all so thankfully I did not miss the farmer's market. I hope you can hear me. As you can see, I put my hair up. I guess I'll show you poor babies over it. It is so hot. So I need to go by Aldi. I need to help Carlos feel better. And I'm super hungry now. Ooh. So when I shop, I always look at the ingredients. I'm always tempted to look at the chips, right? But then, what you need to do when you go grocery shopping is read the ingredients. Look, organic corn flour and then this organic vegetable oil. That's what I don't want. So none of these chips. It says organic, non-GMO, all that stuff. Multi-grain, gluten-free, but no good. How good are they, mister? So we shall not get any chips. Oops. I started off the vlog like oh like come on we're gonna have like a cute little shopping day together and now I'm just like hot and tired and hungry and I've had some food sitting in the car that really needs to be refrigerated both me and Carlos are ready for food and sleep we're taking a little snack break somebody's very happy to be out of his car seat Okay, so it has been a few hours since I last recorded. I am here now with a sleeping baby on my back. I'm going to show you everything that I bought today. I went three different places, as you saw. I got four dozen eggs. As you can see, there's five here. He had a carton with like four eggs or something in it, and he just gave it to me for free. He's a super, super nice local chicken farmer. He also does beef too, and I've gotten some beef products from him. He gave me some beef neck bone. I just got a whole chicken from him recently, some chicken feet, all these things so that I can make some really good broths made with local animals and pasture-raised and organic. So I'm really grateful for this local farmer. He's super kind, and so I always, make sure that I get something from him every time I go because I want to support him. So these are the eggs. I got some peaches too from a farmer. All of the farmer's market stuff is local. I got some mozzarella. I got some breakfast sausage as well from a local sausage store. So I'm hoping to make some pizza. I'm hoping to make a quiche because sometimes I just get tired of having plain eggs and bacon for breakfast and so I like to switch it up by making things like quiches or pancakes or crepes or uh, different things like that. All right, so moving on to Aldi. I always like to get these mandarins. 
these little, I call them cuties because I think there's a brand of them called cuties. Aldi is really good for grass-fed butter, price-wise. So I got five things of butter. It should last us two weeks. So this is something that I don't usually get. These are um, grape tomatoes. And oh, I wanna say too that I try to get organic as much as possible. The reason why I ended up going to Walmart, which I didn't explain this earlier, is because Aldi only has, Aldi is really good. The stuff that it does have that's organic is really awesome. And it's a great price, like this Greek yogurt. I get as much organic as I can. I want to make a taco salad, actually. I was inspired by Lisa from the blog Farmhouse on Boone. She just did a cook with me video and she showed some summer meals and one of the meals she showed was a taco salad. So that's something that I wanna make even though we never ever eat salad in this household. Got some garlic because garlic goes in everything. I also, this is something else I never do. I always make my own salsa because it's so easy, so simple. I always have the ingredients to just whip together a quick little like pico de gallo or something. But I just, I have no idea why. I was possessed to get this, but the ingredients were all good. It's organic. It's like literally, I was just like, I want it. So I got it. We eat Greek yogurt a lot. This is super versatile. So we use this in place of sour cream. So we put it on like tacos or any sort of like hispanic -y sort of meal. We also use this, we put honey in it and strawberries. Um, if I make homemade granola, then we'll put granola on it. So this is super versatile. It's a snack, it's a topping. I can cook with it. I can replace it for sour cream and recipes. I put it in potato salad, in uh, potato recipes, mashed potatoes. We love to have Greek yogurt on hand. The baby loves it too. Orange juice, we drink a lot of orange juice. It's a super great drink to have on hand super healthy. I got avocado oil, uh, just, I, I know I'm gonna put it to use. I was I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna make mayo, but I think we have mayo, enough mayo, um, for when I make the salad dressing, for the taco salad, and for whatever else we like to have mayo. I'll, I'll probably make burgers or something this week. If I don't make my own mayo, which is super easy, I can show you how to make that another time. I get this Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil Mayo. You wanna make sure that if you're trying to be healthy, that you really read the ingredients in the mayo that you get. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't have any soybean oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, any seed oils. You want something that it has avocado oil or olive oil but only olive oil don't be deceived you have to read the labels if you want to get the cleanest product so this is definitely pricey which is why it's definitely better to make your own but sometimes i literally just don't want to even though it's so such a fast simple process if you have an immersion blender which i do now this is what we get if I don't like it. I think that's all for the Aldi products. I went to Walmart because like I said, Aldi is great, has great prices, but their selection of organic fruits and vegetables is not super expensive. Like I said, there's some things that are really good that you can get there, like spinach, for example, is something that they always have organic, um, things like yogurt, whatever, but not everything. So I got this organic cacao powder. We like to make brownies. We haven't made smoothies recently. We've been buying smoothies, but when we make smoothies, I like to make chocolate smoothies. Um, I like to make hot chocolate. I like to make chocolate milk. I like having chocolate things. I'm a chocolate girl. I wanted to try this because it's a much healthier option than just the regular cocoa powder. And I'm all about maximizing the nutrients and the things that I make. So making sure that every ingredient I use is as nutrient dense as possible. As you can see, health is very important to us. For me and Andre, we are willing to spend a little bit extra in our grocery budget to get the highest quality. And I think that there is like this misconception that you have to spend like tons and tons and tons of money 
But as you can see, a lot of what we get really is just whole foods. It is a little bit more expensive. For us, we are looking at it in the long term. You know, how does this stuff affect your body over time? And we're not thinking of just, just the here and now. I think one of my friends just said it the other day abundance mindset versus a scarcity mindset we are willing to buy what we need to be healthy so that we don't have to spend money on allergy medication having chronic illnesses getting cancers heart heart diseases all those different types of things we know that the best the best medicine is preventative and food makes all the difference and what you put on your body in your body um, what's in your environment so we really make an emphasis on making sure that we're really taking care of these bodies that God has given us and being super mindful of what we're putting into it I really try to get organic if possible because those pesticides and things are really not good for you at all we just really want to make sure that there's nothing crazy in the ingredients I think I mentioned this in, in a Q&A that I did and it, we can link it if you want to try to start eating healthier the, the best place to start in my opinion is just by reading the ingredients because then you can see what is actually in your food like I was saying about the mayo most mayos even if they say olive oil mayo um, and a, a big tell too is the price for something like mayo but like I said you can make it at home for a lot cheaper than this was like nine dollars that's kind of ridiculous you just have to read because if it says olive oil mayo it will say soybean oil olive oil and then like all these 50 million th things all these gums and then at the end of the day it's just not very good to put in your body rant over i'm done talking about that now i'm going to show you um, a couple other things i got limes i always like to have these on hand when i make more like hispanic latino we type meals i like to get this brand of chocolate chips so good the ingredients are really great um it's it's organic which is nice these nestle toll house they say allergen free and this the ingredients really are pure and simple and so i feel good about using these okay this is something that i never get but i want to put corn on my taco salad so i got corn i want to look up if there is a way to properly prepare corn if i ever make corn in like a future video i'll definitely share that if there is i also got black beans because i want to put black beans on my taco salad but for the beans before i cook them i'm going to soak them overnight in water i think just water maybe like a little bit of apple cider vinegar i'm going to soak the amount that i need ahead of time to break down the phytic acid on the outside so that it's easier for my body to digest i got avocados i don't like avocados andre does but actually he doesn't really eat avocados that much so i probably could have definitely gone without it lemonade i would like to make some lemonade i said lemonade these are just lemonade i don't know yet if i'll make fermented or if i'm gonna do just regular but lemonade sounded so good so i'd like that to do it so when i was at aldi i bought this it's balsamic vinegar but then when i was at walmart i saw this and i like this better because it's organic and i like the ingredients a lot simpler than this this has like natural flavoring color stuff so i was like i'm just gonna return this i don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> But I think I'm just gonna return this. And I got this ketchup too. There's this brand, let me show you. I don't mind getting ketchup with sugar in it at all. I just try to make sure that it's like good sugar as opposed to like super refined, whatever, like honey, like natural sugar, fruits, um, raw cane sugar. When I went to Walmart, they didn't have any like this. I was just straight up like normal ingredients. There was like, this organic like natural ketchup but then it had natural flavors in it that was literally the only option and i was like no because natural flavors not good you want to shy away from those two i prefer this kind this brand is annie's i don't necessarily care about the brand just the ingredients when they have like tomato paste, water, cane sugar, distilled white vinegar, sea salt, dried onion, allspice, clove. I like when they're like this, as opposed to this that doesn't have sugar, but this is, tastes better. This doesn't really taste like normal ketchup, but this does, because it is normal ketchup. Anyways, I'm done with talking about ketchup. So then I just got, oh, I thought 
these from Aldi. I forgot. I got these onions from Aldi. Something else that I never get, but I got it, is this. The only leafy green that we eat is spinach. We try to stick towards vegetables that are super easy to digest and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, and that are like super nutrient dense, which is why we stick with spinach. We don't eat a ton of it, but just here and there we add it. But this is for the taco salad that I wanted to make. Carrots, we eat a lot of carrots, raw carrots, fermented carrots, cooked carrots. I'm planning on making chicken pot pie this week, so carrots are gonna go in that. And we just eat carrots on the side as snacks, so that's why I got two whole bags. I also really wanted jalapenos. They just sounded so good. I almost got hot sauce, and then I was like, no. I don't know why I didn't, but for some reason I was just like, no. You know what else I put in my cart? I put olives in the cart, because when we had olives at that restaurant, it was so good. I walked around with them and I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I don't know why, I just felt like no. And I got strawberries. We really like strawberries to snack on, to put in smoothies, a bell pepper. And I also got this. I had all the ingredients to make my own laundry soap. And then I was reading all these articles online talking about why you shouldn't. So I just bought this Ecos brand, plant powered, not that I really care if it's plant powered or not, um, but it's made without crazy stuff. Anyways, I googled best natural stuff and this was on the list. We eat a lot of meat. I know there's no meat here while I'm holding meat in my hand. I know there's no meat here. <laughs> we get our meat from ButcherBox and this is not hashtag sponsored, but I'll put the link below if you are interested in using butcher box we get all our meat it's all grass fed um organic right grass fed grass finished which means they finished out on on pasture not you know stuffed with a bunch of grains at the end and so we get steaks from there we get um what else do we get we get ground beef bacon uh yeah, salmon. Andre just got ribs too from there, so that'll be fun to try. Um, I've never made ribs before. So we get a box like every two, three weeks, like every three weeks or so of meat. And then I also buy chicken um, from the farmer who gave me the eggs because his chickens are local, pasture raised. We get raw dairy delivered to us, so raw milk. And then we go through a gallon and a half of milk a week and then we are also getting cheese from them too so we'll get a big block of raw cheddar cheese and cream oh yeah we're getting cream this week too I might make ice cream I kind of want to make ice cream that is the end of this haul um, so I think I told you a couple things. I wanna make taco salad, I wanna make chicken pot pie, I'll probably make burgers. We just have steak and potatoes, salmon and rice, salmon and potatoes. We have lots and lots of meal options. I have pancake batter for breakfast. I can make some salads now for lunches and salad dressings. So we have lots of options. Usually in the week I make one like taco type meal. I like to make Asian style with soy sauce, a ginger type thing. This will give me plenty of options. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. I will see you all in the next video.